Farmer Mike here. Welcome to a brand new series. We have a lot to do today, so stick around and enjoy the show. Okay, so I'm at the dealership. I have $500,000 to my name. I have no vehicles, no place, uh, no, no house, no land, nothing. Uh, just the $500,000 to my name. So I'm going to go ahead and, and come in to the dealership. Uh, let's see here. Go down. I'm going to buy a 1972 Ford F100. Only two thousand eight hundred forty-nine dollars. Uh, I'm gonna get the. Let's see, wheel brand. I'll we'll, I will keep Ford wheel setup. I'll keep Wrangler. Plow setup. We'll do plow, uh, plow package. Nebraska plates. I'll do Nebraska farm bed options. I'll do uh, toolbox and rails. CB option. CB and whips. I'm gonna do bug visor and bug sh or visor and bug shield. Do both on the cab handles and lights. Steps. I'm gonna do steps front and loony flaps. The price inflation. I'll leave it 1972 MSRP. Uh, Tatchers. I'll do pintle and gooseneck. I'm gonna leave the engine the same. Main color will be white. Two tone color, I'll do sand dollar brown. Interior color will be sand dollar brown. Interior two color, will I'll keep that white. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that for six thousand three hundred four dollars. So there is some land that I want to go buy. I'm gonna have to take a loan out to get it. Um. I basically want to take out just enough money so that I can buy the land and then still have roughly, so, so I'm at $493,000. Uh, I want to be able to buy the land and still have around $400,000 left. So, the land that I want to purchase, go ahead and take a drive down there. So this series uh, is going to have less editing in it. I want it to be somewhat realistic. So I will have some time lapses and some cutscenes, but I want to limit uh, the amount of times that I need to use uh, the editing tool or super strength as much as possible. I know I'm going to have to use them from time to time, but... But I will have time lapses and cutscenes, uh, so that way the videos aren't super long. Uh, where is that land? I think it's up here on the left. So hopefully you all, so hopefully you all enjoy this new series. It's 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 uh, it's not gonna have a storyline or anything. It's more or less more or less just me playing the game and talking to you all that are watching. And by no means am I a professional at this game or farming. So I'll be learning my way through. Uh, I'll be learning my way through as I play. So if there's any of you that are in the same boat as me, you know, we can we can learn together. And if there's any of you that are uh, good at playing the game or good at farming, uh, feel free to leave some good, helpful tips in the uh, comment section. So on my left, I own... 
or uh, excuse me, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to own, I'm going to try to buy this land. So it includes the this field immediately to my left as well as that grassy field to my right. There isn't anything on it besides a field. Um, so let's go to the map, go to down to where it is. So it includes everything in the blue here. Just got that one field. So it is uh, $429,240. So I need to get at least that much of a loan. Let's see. Let's see here. Borrow. I'll need almost a right around nine hundred thousand dollars. Oh, that's not good. That's all I can. Uh, that's all I can get for a loan. Well. I'm going to buy it anyway. It won't leave me with a ton of money, but I need some land to farm. So well, let's go ahead and buy it. I still have $364,000, so not too, too bad. So I want to check what this field is, has got going on in it. We got cotton that's growing. I'm going to have to rent or lease a cotton harvester. But I need to generate some money. So I'm probably going to utilize this field for cutting cutting the grass and utilizing uh utilizing it for hay selling for hay or whatever but let's see here i want to put my house somewhere where do i want to put my house i'm going to go into edit mode real quick i can get a aerial view of where i would like the house to be Well, I don't want it in this back corner, but it would almost make more sense to leave it to leave it down here on the flat area. So I'm not really sure what to do here. Maybe run a driveway up through here, have my house. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Well, for now, we're just going to stick a tent. Down here. Let's see. Farmhouse. Tent. Only fifty dollars, but I gotta be <clears throat> I gotta be smart with my money. Got a big loan to pay. All right, let's just stick it uh, here. Animals. I get a dog. We'll have the dog. Uh, Right here beside me, it's gonna be a female dog, and we're gonna name her Sadie. Oh boy, Sadie, you come down here. What are you doing up there? Maybe if I feed her. There we go. So cotton, huh? Yeah. I'm not familiar with. Uh, I'm not familiar with. 
cotton as far as farming it. So I do know there's a special harvester for it. But it's not ready to it's not ready to be harvested. Let's check to see when cotton gets harvested. We are in August. And it looks like October. So we got a few months. So I got the setting on real time with one day per month. Um, I'm going to leave it that way for now. I may have to adjust that, but I am going to lease something so I can start mowing this lawn. We can get uh, the hay production part going. main goal is to start basically from scratch and uh, work my way uh, into being a big time a big time farmer and as you saw the land was a very uh, pricey purchase but there was some cheaper places I could have bought them but I that's the land I really wanted. It had a lot of had a lot of potential as far as uh, this the amount of land, and I liked the fact that it had a field that wasn't plowed yet. So this series is going to be the Elm Creek series. It's a very I find it to be a very well-made base game map with that Midwest feeling, which is what I think they were going for. And I do love this truck. Very well-made Ford pickup. So let's see what we have for small tractor options they like that farm all but can that farm all do some grass cutting that i'm not sure of I'm going to lease this. $612. I'm going to try to lease that farm all. It might be a waste of my money doing it because I'm not sure if I'll be able to use that tractor for that mower attachment. I don't think I'm going to be able to. We'll do bus. We'll do mud guards. Three point. Everything else the same. Let's see. How much will it be? So six hundred forty-seven dollars. Here goes nothing. I have a bad feeling about this. Very bad feeling that this ain't gonna work. Oh. Okay. So I'll see you all down to the farm, and we're going to get some grass cut. So we're almost back to the property. I might actually even just buy this tracker, and this grass cutter, I'm not sure. Um, I want to start off small with equipment and, you know, work my way up. And the reason I was thinking this tractor wouldn't hook up to that mower because I tried getting this tractor the other day uh, to attach to something and it wouldn't but 
I guess I should have known it, it was going to attach to it because this mower has a three point attach attachment and this tractor has a three point attach attacher attachment. So yeah, obviously it's gonna it's gonna hook up. But I guess I was just overlooking that, thinking that it, uh, thinking that it wasn't gonna work because I had I had a hard time getting a trailer to hook up to this trailer. I mean I didn't have a hard time, it just wouldn't it wouldn't hook up at all, so. Alright, so I believe I don't know where to start. I guess it don't matter. Start this corner here. Oh there. There's a tree there. so I can make hay. I guess these bushes aren't gonna... I guess I sh Yeah. Hold on. These bushes aren't moving. Some other maps, you can cut those down, but I guess not those ones. So, I'm going to try to stay outside of the bushes here. This tractor probably doesn't have nowhere near the horsepower it needs for this mower. I can see that. I can see that's going to be exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be... It's not... Oh, there we go. Well, is it? Yeah. Uh, it's cutting, but it's not liking it. Alright, I'm going to see if there's an actual cutting... <clears throat> grass cutting blade for this particular tractor. Uh, so, I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Alright, now I'm back. So, I returned the other mower attachment and found an older style cutter that will hopefully work with this uh, lawn, uh, tractor. So we're going to give it a shot here. the important thing. I need that for hay. So, I want to do as much uh, on on camera with this series. So, like, gameplay, I want to have... And there goes a sign. Nobody saw that. And there goes another one. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that either. So, I want to have as much gameplay on camera uh, as I can. So I want to have little little gameplay done off camera. There's going to be a lot of times, though, that I'm going to have to harvest fields and stuff that could take a long time. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm obviously not going to be able to record everything, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can and uh, 
still have to do time lapses or cutscenes and all that stuff. But why isn't it cutting this grass? Do I not own that? I guess I don't own all the way over here. That's a bummer. Thought I did. I don't think you can buy it either. Nope. Must be like an out of bounds, out of bounds area. I mean, this is retro as retro gets, but I mean, look what I'll be sleeping in. To save some money, if I can build up my uh, M my bank account a little bit more. Basically, basically, we're gonna we're going to be cutting all the grass in this field as much as a, as much of it as I can. Every last blade of grass, uh, so that I can turn it <coughs> turn this grass into hay and make a profit. for that out of bounds. Kind of a bummer. I don't own all the way up in there. So I guess that answers my question of where my house is going to be. It's going to have to stay down where the tent is when I do put in a house. I didn't realize realize that uh, that was going to be the case with the field. I might not have bought in this land if I knew that. But I thought I was getting that whole field. I can't. Oh, I can cut those bushes. This little mower is Pretty impressed with it. These trees are right in the way. Can't beat an old retro, retro farm all, farm all. I'm having an issue with getting that that last little bush. Don't wanna. There we go. Right out into the road.
Yeah, this field's going to take quite a while to do, I can tell you that. So I guess this is where maybe we'll do a little bit of a time lapse. So that's going to do it for me today. There's still a lot of grass left to cut, but uh, I'm going to call it good for now. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And from Sadie and I, wherever she may be, we hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, join me again on... Elm Creek Episode 2. I will see you all then. Take care.